Hello. My name is James Seddon. I'm here to ask you to invest £75,000 in my company, Exactly Limited. A boiled egg makes an almost perfect breakfast. It's one of the most nutritious foods that money can buy. The only downside is it's a bit of a hassle to prepare. First, you have to wait five minutes for the water to boil, place the egg in the boiling water, remembering to set the timer, fish it out when it's cooked, and finally you have to wash up the pan. It's even more of a hassle if you want to cook hard and soft boiled eggs at the same time. We've devised a product that makes cooking eggs as easy as making toast. It's a sort of toaster for eggs. The Exactly is based on soft, flexible heating elements. Two half egg shaped elements are forced over the egg as the lid of the cooker is closed. This ensures good thermal contact regardless of the shape or size of the egg. The elements are heated electrically and are controlled electronically for both cooking time and temperature. We plan to produce a range of products for different size households. The smallest being the single egg cooker, which is aimed at small households, students, OAPs and so on. It's small and neat and retailing at less than £20 makes a perfect gift purchase. We're currently talking to four companies about the possibility of licensing the product, including Home Tech, who are the makers of the ANZ Harriet brand. In the first year, our turnover is intended to be a, a million pounds, going up to nearly seven million by year four. So to summarise, this is a brand new product. The market for it is truly global, and the technology is covered by patent. With your help, not only will you get a tenfold return for your money, but you'll also help millions of people get exactly the right start to their day. Thank you for listening to me. I'll do my best to answer your questions. James wants an investment of £75,000 in his water-free egg cooker. In return, he's offering a share of 10% in the business. I'm intrigued by the name. You said your name is Exactly. Is exactly. it Exactly? Exactly, yes. Very clever. Um, exactly. <laughs> the... Well done, Jim. <laughs> Best pun today. <laughs> can I, can I have a look at one of them? You may indeed. Please be a little bit careful with this. I'm afraid the... Uh, Are these lid... fresh eggs? No, this is a hard-boiled egg here. Shame. Oh, I didn't, didn't leave anything to chance. Oh, OK, so this isn't a product. It's not. That's an, what's called an SLA prototype. Right. So how do you know that it works? Well, I can, I hope, demonstrate it working. This one here actually is one that can work. Can you give me a four-minute egg? Well, a five-minute egg. I mean, I, people talk about a three- and five-minute egg. I've never really understood it, because every time I've boiled an egg, it's always five minutes to get it the way I like it, which is white, just white. But I want a four-minute egg, which is the way I like it. I understand. Yeah, the, the, the cooker will do it. So just do me a four-minute egg. Peter Jones wants a four-minute egg. James is hoping to impress him with his five-minute egg. Deborah Meaden already has serious reservations as to whether James's invention is improving on traditional methods. What happens at the end in that, at talking about the element, Peter wants a four-minute boiled egg, mm -hmm. walks out of the room six minutes later, how long is heat still being applied? As soon as it's finished like this, it beeps and you can see the bezel goes blue, then that's it, it's done. Oh, I okay. forgot to put the egg in. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to put the egg in. James has made a calamitous error. Under pressure, he's forgotten to place an egg in his cooker. Deborah Meaden is not amused. James, I, I'm going to say very early on, I'm really not interested. I, I just, I cannot see that it, it, it's better. You've I just think up. it's different. I think you've tried to solve a problem that doesn't exist. And I'm saying up front now, I think it's a product that isn't going to sell, that I'm out. James has already lost his first dragon, and after his disastrous demonstration, his chances of investment are starting to look slim. He needs to try again, as he'll have to prove his invention works if he's to turn his pitch around. James, on the patent, because it's quite important, because yes. coming up with products like this, if it's not able to be protected, you've got a business that's a little bit in jeopardy from the day it starts, or at least the day you come out with this idea. Have you got a registered patent for not just the design, but the technique? The crucial bit is that, which is the element. Why is this different? Explain that to me. Because it's the only one that directly heats the egg, that directly cooks the egg. And they tried in the past to make sort of ovens where the egg would sit in a very close oven to work, but of course it didn't work because there was air in between. James, what actually heats up this, this thing here, is it? No, that's just the fingers to hold the element against the egg. So this heats up? That heats the up, yes. spongy... Yeah. That's right. And what have you actually invented? The shape? The way the whole thing works, uh, the, the, the fingers to hold it against the egg. And what is, what is patentable? The, the fingers, the element, and the, the way the element actually heats is all patentable. I think people are going to have real difficulty trying to do the same thing.
I think it could be quite a, quite a good little product. James's thorough patent protection seems to have impressed Richard Farley. All James needs now is an effective demonstration of the egg cooker. Oh, We're done. I think it's probably done. That took exactly five, five and a half minutes. I hope it's cooked. Now, I'm afraid this one hasn't cooked properly, I'm sorry to say. Uh, but oh. let, me, let me just, I can show you the, oh, the original you've prototype. Uh, you've got to recover you, quickly from this, James. If you can, if you can stand the... I'll show you the You get one concept. chance. James, you've got problems with the concept because, you know, you can't prove it works yet. And I can't really see the product selling. So for those reasons, I, I'm not going to invest. And so I'm out, James. Well, thank you. With Duncan Bannatyne out, James is rapidly losing the confidence of the Dragons. Only three remain. In desperation, he goes back to his original prototype to prove the product will work. <laughs> James, what are you doing now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look. It's back to the future, isn't it? What is it? You're it's like not. the mad look, professor. I mean, in essence, this is a terribly simple device. It's not difficult. But if it's not that difficult, why are we struggling? James's chance of an investment is hanging by a thread. He desperately needs to prove the technology works if he's to salvage any interest from the three remaining dragons. <sighs> this one hasn't cooked either. I'm terribly sorry. I just know it hasn't, because I've done this so many times. But for some reason or other, this one hasn't cooked either. Look, I'm terribly sorry, but it does work, I promise you. Why didn't this one work? I haven't got a clue. I haven't so got a good answer. It, look, it <laughs> does work. I cook, Surely that's it. <laughs> no, I cook millions of eggs with this. I tell you, I cook loads of eggs with it. It does work. I promise you it works. And the technology is, is so relatively straightforward. That it doesn't work? It does Twice. work. Twice. Uh, I'm going to make this that easy. Animals, children, and electrical products. Absolutely. The fact that you can't show me it works, and you keep telling me how relatively straightforward the technology is, I'm not going to be investing, so I'm out. After an incredible third disastrous attempt, Theopophetus is out. James is running out of excuses, and the remaining dragons are losing patience. How often doesn't the prototype work? It's worked every time. Believe me, this one worked absolutely every time. I have eggs falling out the kitchen doing this yesterday to get it all working. Have you got any suspicion of why it didn't work? Is there a loose connection? Did it heat up? Did it? I probably hadn't put the thermostat to the right. <laughs> I probably hadn't put the thermostat to the right degree of level. That is probably all it is. There's a thermostat here, and I can see, in fact, looking at it, it's down low. And I'm sorry, that's just simply the environment I'm in. So I'm sorry, if I had another egg, I'd have another go at it, but I haven't, so I can't. It looks to be all over for James. He's run out of eggs and cannot prove his invention works. Only Peter Jones and Richard Farley have yet to declare their positions. The attractive side of this is obviously that I could see this selling zillions. Yes. That's the upside. The chances of it happening, I think, are still very low because whether the technology works, it's, it's a high risk venture. You know, so really what, I'm in, what I would be investing in is an invention. Yes. You know, without getting opinions on the patents, without seeing it working, I want a, lot, a much different percentage than what you're talking about. So I'd probably want 40% for the company for 75 grand. How much, sorry? 40%. 14. 14. 40. 40. Four zero. Against all the odds, Richard Farley has offered the full £75,000 James needs to get the exactly egg cooker to market. Peter Jones is ready to declare his position. Hi James, Hello, Peter. we can get this over with quickly. Um, I think that this product will sell millions. I think you're right. Is it a business that I would like to invest in is the issue? Um, because I think you've got a lot to do. I'm going to offer you £75,000, the whole £75,000, for 35% of your company. Right. In an amazing turnaround, James now has two rival offers. Richard Farley has offered the full amount for a 40% stake in the company, Peter Jones has just undercut the new dragon by offering to do the deal for 5% less. But James wants to find out what else they're offering, apart from a cash injection. Can I just ask you what you do for me for that? Because... I'd do absolutely nothing for you. No sort of mentoring or help? If... I don't think that you 
can gain a lot of help from me mentoring you, but what I will do is have a clear interest in it. Fine. I mean, I'd obviously like to ask Richard what you can do to help. Um, I could probably help you quite a bit. Not with time. I can't spend a lot of time on it, but I can give you the right advice. I, I'm a very prolific backer of technology companies, a lot of which have gone to the AIM market or sold. So, you know, I think I'm probably the ideal investor for you. Fine. Richard Farley can see a potentially huge return in this high-risk investment and is pitching himself against Peter Jones. Competition between the Dragons is building. And Peter, yours is going to be much a hands-off approach. Yeah, I mean, it's very easy for me to sit here and use the terminology, I'm a prolific telecoms guru, um, but I'm not going to paint that picture. I think the reality is that you're going to get investment you're going to get support and help, and there's going to be a lot of doors that clearly open by yes. us partnering. Yes. Um, strategically, I've set up a lot of businesses, as you probably well know, and I've had my failures, but I've had some prolific successes. Um, so from that perspective, I think that I know exactly how to take products to market. Richard, I've got an opportunity here. I'm quite happy to split the opportunity with you. 20% each. With your expertise on exit for the company, my expertise on commodity sales, he's got the benefit of both of our brains. Maybe we've got a very good business here. That'd be a dream deal for you, really, wouldn't it? So you get two for the price of one, but you get 20% me, 20% Richard, and you get your money today. And you can't match Peter's 35% uh, between you. Well, actually, if you get the two of us, I think you should be very happy with 40%. against what I thought I'd say, I'd like to accept your deal. For the pair of you to do it. Well done. Well done. Excellent. 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 For the first time ever in the den, an entrepreneur who's failed to demonstrate his invention actually works has succeeded in securing an investment. Well, 